Hi everyone and thanks for joining us. We were tasked with designing a waste rock dump for Trimble Mine Phase 2 operations based on the design of an existing dump, Phase 1, which did not meet performance standards. The details of our project are to follow. Metal leaching and acid rock drainage, or MLARD, is the overlying issue at the Trimble Mine near Houston, BC. The potentially acid-generating waste rock poses significant environmental and reclamation concerns, if not properly managed. The difference between poor and excellent mine management is shown here. Our main goal at Trimble was to create a waste rock dump that would limit the rate at which MLARD is generated, since the capacity for acid generation is an unchangeable characteristic of the waste rock. We also look to develop a walkaway solution which requires no active treatment and a site fit for environmental reclamation. Regarding current events, on March 26th of this year, a Canadian mining company was ordered by Environment Canada under the BC Fisheries Act to pay $60 million for their waste rock leachate entering the Fording River in southeastern British Columbia at levels exceeding regulations. This is the largest fine of this nature imposed in Canadian history, which proves how crucial it is to contain and control the leachates exiting waste rock dumps. The pH levels of the runoff exiting the Trimble Phase 1 waste rock dump is extremely acidic having an average pH of 2.5. When MLARD from the waste rock dump is mixed with natural streams, it can create adverse effects to aquatic life. Metal ions and sulfates can travel into fish gills or be ingested through their food source. Waters at the pH of less than 4.5 can be toxic to almost all forms of aquatic life. Therefore, controlling seepage from a waste rock dump is crucial. Matt will now discuss the governing processes of MLARD. Our design reduces the rate at which MLARD is generated by controlling oxygen saturation and water seepage, its governing processes. MLARD is generated because of oxygen readily oxidizing metals and creating dangerous chemicals like sulfides. As the metals oxidize and sulfides are generated, they become stored in any surrounding water and produce carbon dioxide. Slow moving water will transport the stored MLARD into nearby water sources, and if there are no internal airflow barriers, oxygen can be drawn to active zones throughout the dump, which will drastically increase MLARD production and can be recognized through zones with increased temperature. Monitoring is an extremely important and sometimes underrated component of the waste rock dump. A holistic view of the dump can mean the difference between acting to stop any potential issues and reacting to fix a problem that's already underway. This is why our recommended monitoring system is an artificial neural network being fed predominantly with lead equipment like oxygen, carbon dioxide, and temperature probes in each cell, vibrating wire prosometers, and a constant weather feed so that all the data can be processed in real time as well as having the system make accurate performance predictions. The Trimble Phase 2 waste rock dump, the engineering controls that our team decided to put in place to produce the most effective solution were a cover, a liner, and intermediate lifts. By using a cover and liner consisting of 5% bentonite by weight, we can reduce the water and oxygen infiltration into the waste rock dump. By adding internal lifts composed of ground up paste tailings, which are a byproduct of typical mining operations, we're able to limit the chemical reactions taking place and control the internal temperatures of the dump more effectively. Our client, Ocane Consultants, wanted us to provide them with a walkaway solution. Therefore, we proposed a number of options for passive treatment of the remaining MLARD, which allow for unmanned operations at the waste rock dump. One of the innovative methods for passive treatment that we proposed to Ocane was using a sulfate-reducing bacteria, which utilizes organic matter such as brewery waste, decaying vegetation, or sewage to precipitate the metal ions and neutralize the acid flowing from the waste rock dump. The base case design, which is to mirror the original design of which we were asked to improve, would see just over 1 million cubic meters of water flowing out of the dump each year and require $1.5 million to be spent on treatment of the outflows annually. The chosen design solution resulted in water outflows from the dump of 248,000 cubic meters per year, with an upfront cost of $78.5 million and no requirement for active treatment, making it a walkaway solution. We followed a source approach to greatly limit MLARD from occurring rather than a treatment-based solution. By reducing the internal reactions, as well as providing options for acid neutralizing features to be constructed into the dump, the ensuing outflows will not cause harm to the local flora and fauna, allowing for full reclamation of the site. We also considered the magnitudes of outflows from the dump, as water induces MLARD, and decreased water movement throughout the system leads to less reactions, resulting in a solution that tackles both oxygen and water as potential drivers of MLARD. Hopefully, through the implementation of the design innovations proposed by our group for the Trimble Phase 2 waste rock dump, we can protect the environment, reclaim the site to its previous land use, and avoid a $60 million fine. Thanks for watching. We'd like to give a special thanks to our clients and mentors, Andrew Baisley and Lindsay Thorson of Ocane, as well as our faculty advisor, Brad Schmidt, for all their help in completing this project.